Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll be changing out the cooling fan on an HP laptop. So if you turn on the computer and first thing you see is that cooling fan error message for about 20 seconds or so, and the computer will just shut off on its own, that's more likely that the CPU fan stopped working and the computer prevents you or prevents the computer from getting overheat and it automatically shuts off on its own. So here it says system fan error code 90B that indicates we need to change out the CPU fan. All right, so let's go ahead and turn off the computer. Let me turn on the light. So that is the laptop. And go ahead and identify the model here. This is the 15DY 2073DX. That is the model of this HP laptop. But if you have a different HP laptop, that is fine. And hopefully you know somewhat in between the same model then you can follow along the video um, but that definitely indicate that the cooling fan the cpu fan that needs to be replaced all right so what i did i removed the rubber stopper this is to prevent from the computer from sliding and um, you need to remove that in order to expose the hidden screw they're going to be top and bottom for some reason the bottom rubber has gone missing only that thing is still exists so I'll remove that get a Phillips screwdriver and start removing all the screws looks like there are three screws holding on the top two screws here in the middle And there are three hidden screws here at the bottom. All right, once all the three screws are removed, I want to get in between the corner, between the palm rest and the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool. Just kind of get in between that, get myself some room to pry it open. Once I have enough of space, I'll use the plastic prying tool instead of the metal because the metal might make a scratch on the, on the laptop. Okay, once I have enough of opening, I will just kind of lift it up and just crack it open. The back cover entirely would just comes off. Now that is the CPU fan. As you can see that the CPU fan is stuck. I'm trying to spin it, but it's not spinning. Looks like there was something here. Oh, I found it. So there was a broken plastic right here that got stuck and prevent the fan from spinning. So that was the uh, plastic. Does it spin now? Yep, it spin much better. So that was the reason and again if you wanted to for my case i was lucky enough there was something that got stuck and prevent the blade from spinning and uh, but if it's if your case that the cpu fan got stuck and and um and it wasn't anything that can re be removed meaning that the motor might have been bad in your case then you might have to change out the cpu fan I'll still show you how to do it. Uh, remove all the screws. There's going to be three screws holding it down. Okay, once I've removed the three screws, the connector here is very straightforward. You snap onto it, meaning that to remove it, you just have to lift it straight up. Okay, the connector is going to snap into the connect like snap on to remove it just lift it straight up and then the entire cpu fan will just come right off all right and then the product number here is going to be l68134-001 it looks like that is the model for the uh, replacement CPU fan. Okay, and you might want to take this opportunity to kind of clean off 
um, the heat sink I noticed that you know hairy stuff is still stuck on the heat sink more likely it looks like a pet fur some kind of an animal fur is there okay that's pretty much it and uh, let me put this thing back together and I'll turn on the computer to see if I still getting the error message or not okay once it's in reconnect the CPU fan So it's very straightforward. The connector just snap back in. Give it a little spin. It is spinning good. Okay. Get my back cover. Slide it in from the top. Slide it in. Press it down on both sides. And just gonna press it all around the laptop. Let's install the three screws here at the bottom. Make sure you put in the uh, rubber, rubber back to the bottom part of it. For me, I don't have it. Um, I'm gonna skip that. And three more screws here on the top. Okay, since I have the one on the top here, I'll just put it back. Okay, let's try to turn it on. See, I can see the HP logo. It start loading to the windows. I need to cover up making sure there's no uh, name being exposed here okay so as you can see it boots straight to the login screen I just need to press the side the corner making sure the laptop are all ins inserted correctly and I can hear the fan spinning in the background okay so um, the error message does not show up which is all good and hopefully this helps and again, if you find this video is helpful, please um, smash the like button for me. And if you feel free to uh, share your gratitude, make sure you click on YouTube Super Thanks, which allow you to to uh, yeah to show your appreciation and support the work that I do. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm gonna shut down the computer. Bye now.